now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, Ride of Dragon, God is Next Door, and John Haynes team up to take on the Dark Vampire in this action-packed Isis series adventure. Get Isis, Ride of Dragon, and paperback and e-readers at online booksellers today. Last night's Bachelorette finale was literally like watching a wrestling show. The results were predetermined, and anyone who knew better already knew who the winner was going to be. When I looked at that Bachelorette show, I knew that the nail was in the coffin for Eric before it even started. And from a few weeks earlier, I already knew that the big finish was going to feature him being humiliated in the worst way. Now, a couple of weeks ago, they had an episode where Rachel took the men to meet her family. And in that episode, I saw where everything was going before it even started. And when I looked when I looked at her family, I knew that the final fate of Eric was going to lead to him being put through the Spanish announce table like in that Hell in a Cell with Mankind and The Undertaker. There was going to be a big finish related to his humiliation because if you look at Rachel Lindsay's family, you would see how they all deified, and worshipped white people. Rachel Lindsay's father was with a white woman. Rachel Lindsay's sister was with a white man. And Rachel Lindsay's sister had a biracial child. Moreover, I believe by Rachel Lindsay's mother may have had a white man. But when you look at that family, it clearly showed us what direction things were going in. And anyone with any sort of critical thinking skills could have sat there and said to themselves, Eric had absolutely no chance at that point because all you had to do was look at the mother, look at the father, look at the sister, and you could clearly see the pattern that things were going in because Rachel Lindsay, like her mother and her father, deified and worshipped white people as gods. And once they got their economic resources together, they decided to choose white people to be their partners. Moreover, the daughter, who is Rachel's sister, decided to do the exact same thing. So we saw the direction that things were going in, and that's what Rachel wanted for herself. When she talked about marriage, she meant marriage to a white man so that she could have a biracial child just like her sister did, and further erase their blackness from the next generation. They did not want to have a black child. They wanted to have biracial children. And what we saw in that Bachelorette, in that early, in that episode, was how deep the self-hatred ran in that family and how deep the dysfunction ran in that family. Now, all of that led to this finale where we saw the climax of this where we saw Rachel Lindsay in bed with this white man. And that showed us, also foreshadowed, what was going to come because now that she has had relations and spent the night with this white man, she could set up to do what she was going to do in that rose ceremony. And that rose ceremony came very early in that three-hour finale. They quickly eliminated Eric, got him out of there, and sent him away in the most humiliating fashion because they spent at least a couple of minutes, about 15-20 minutes live, and then they cut to the tape of Eric being eliminated. He was eliminated so quickly, it wasn't funny. He was literally sent away in a marginalized fashion. And the statement she made as she eliminated Eric was, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. And that was, there was some truth to that because she never really loved him. She loved the idea of the attention she was getting from him. And she liked the idea of this guy thinking he actually had a shot. But in actuality, she really loved these white men because these white men were God to her and Eric was just a mere mortal man. So he had no chance from the beginning. He was just being strung along all for the sake of making things appear fair, but they were never fair from the jump. Again, from the first five seconds of looking at those white men, Rachel knew who she wanted. And when you look at the background of her family, it was clear of what she wanted from day one because in her family they were deifying white people from day one and that's what they wanted 
and she wanted the exact same thing. And she really wants, she says a marriage, but that's a lie too, because all she wants is the marriage so that she can get the white man's seed, so she can have that biracial baby and further dilute her own blackness for the next generation. What we saw on that bachelorette in that finale was a testament to the dysfunction of many of these Afro-American Negro women and the self-hatred many have for themselves. This entire season was a powerful statement that said something about how much these Afro-American Negro women deify white men, how much they worship white men, and if they are given a choice, they will choose this white man over any black man. If we look at the way four men were eliminated in one night, that was a condemning statement about how much Rachel Lindsay disliked black men. And if we look at the way Eric was marginalized and literally tossed off the show within the first hour of a three-hour show, that was also a condemning statement about how black men are seen by black women. Because I look at the way Rachel talked to these white men, she was more engaged, she was more involved, her body language more interested in these guys. Whereas she looked at guys like Eric, she saw them like children. And she looked at them in the way a, a, a mother looks at a child or a teacher looks at a child. Seeing him as not somebody important or anyone who she would look seriously at. Because I look at the way she looked down at Eric and all these other black men. And that was the exact same way a teacher or a mother looked at a child. When she looked at these white men, she looked them dead in their eyes. She was fully engaged. Her body was fully engaged. But when she looked at these black men, she saw them like children. And that was another condemning statement about this whole Bachelorette show about and in showing the dysfunction that black, many black women have as it relates to relationships with black men and white men. And her choosing this white man at the end of this show is the most condemning statement to black women overall because, again, here you have a chance to be on a show where you're supposed to pick a mate, and instead of picking a man who looks like you, the first person you go out and pick is the God that you serve and you worship. When I look at this whole Bachelorette finale, it, it was anticlimactic for me because, again, I knew the results, but sadly, many people out here didn't see that Eric was sitting set up for the Spanish announce table, and they thought he had a chance, but it was no chance. That's what he had. Ha 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 ha